Alright, so hey guys, so this video is going to be about so me um, organising the Premier League teams and, th and saying what I think they're going to finish. So, with Brighton, I think they are going to finish, I don't think, uh, I think they will get relegated. Um, so, I think they will finish in the 17th spot of the relegation because I don't think their side is as strong as it was last season. So, yeah, I think they're going to get a good chance of relegation. But they might not get relegated, but I think they'll get close to the relegation. But I think they're going to get 17th spot in the relegation spot. So, thank thank you, guys. That's my Brighton prediction. All right, so this is my Aston Villa prediction. My Aston Villa prediction, I think that Aston Villa will get in a good spot. I think that they will finish in the 7th spot because their team... Very capable of being some strong sides, as you saw in the Premier League early in the season. They absolutely smashed Liverpool. Liverpool, probably one of the best Premier League teams. So, I think that Aston Villa is going to finish in a good spot of 7th and possibly get in the Europa League. Not quite sure about that one, but I think they're going to finish in the 7th spot. So, that's my Aston Villa prediction. So, this is my Sheffield United prediction. So, my Sheffield United prediction is that they are going to get relegated. Unfortunately, as good as their team they was with Dean Henderson and their team, I think they're going to finish in the 18th spot of the relegation zone. So, I, don't, I think they're not going to survive the Premier League. And I think another team from the other Premier League from the other level of the Premier League. Uh, it's going to come into the Premier League for Sheffield United. So, sadly, I think Sheffield United are going to get relegated. That's my Sheffield prediction. So, my Everton prediction for the Premier League. Hmm. So, Everton, they've pretty good side at the moment. Rodriguez, Allen, Calvert-Lewin, Richarlison. I know the defence isn't the best, but still... It's able to cope with the Premier League teams that they have against them. So I think they're going to finish in a spot of 5th place, Everton. Yes, Everton, I uh, think, is going to finish in 5th spot. Not reaching the Champions League just, but just losing under a little bit. Under a little bit of those big teams. So that's my Everton prediction. So the Newcastle Premier League prediction. So, with Newcastle, I do not think they have what it's take to to make the Premier League teams that are in forward with them. So, because of that, I think they are going to finish 20th, yes, last in the Premier League and get relegated. So, three teams that I've picked for relegation, they are part of it. So, yes, that's... Leeds United Premier League prediction in the table. So, Leeds United, they're a new team. They haven't been in the Premier League for a while, but they've just got in the Premier League for the first time in a long, long time. So, I think Leeds United are going to have a great season, finishing in a pretty high spot on the table, halfway in the table, which is number 10 spot. So, yeah, that is the prediction of my Leeds United. So the West Brom Albion prediction on the table. So we've already given our three relegated teams. Sheffield United, Brighton. And it was Newcastle United. So now I think West Brom are going to finish in 17th position. Yes, that is right, 17th position. Sheffield United, uh, West Brom, I mean. West Brom, not Sheffield, West Brom, sorry about that. That's my West Brom prediction. So, my Crystal Palace prediction is that I think that Crystal Palace are going to be 15th in the Premier League. Yes, they have Wilfred Zaha. Yes, they have a lot of capable players to make the cut but I just don't think they will make it that high in the table I think they still need some more signings some more depth some more wingers some more advanced players to grow on that team otherwise it's a very great team and I think that they're going to finish 15th in the Premier League thank you for this prediction so I think Wolves are going to finish um 11th in the um 
Premier League. So yeah, 11th I think that's going to be for Wolves. Capable side, just not capable enough with the teams that they have. So yeah, Wolves it is at 11th. So for Fulham, I think that they are going to finish 16th in the Premier League. So I think that they're going to finish 16th because their team, not very capable enough. They have Ariola in goal, but just not capable enough to, fin to ice the job on the Premier League. That's the full end prediction. So I think Burnley are going to finish 12th in the Premier League. Yes, towards Burnley, yes, probably capable side. After losing some players that were a little bit important to them, I think they still have what it takes, but this needs still a little bit more years, more years to grow in their depth squad. And yeah, that's my Burnley prediction. So, West Ham in the Premier League. I think West Ham are going to be finishing um, 13th in the Premier League. So, yeah, because I think their team... Yeah, they have a few players that, yeah, they can, like, do the job. But, like, they need some more players. They need some more depth in their team. So, yeah, I think that they are going to finish 13th in the Premier League. They need some more years to build. So, yes, that is my... West Ham prediction. Southampton in the Premier League. I think that they are going to finish 14th. They've done the Ings. Yes, I know. They've done the Ings. He scores a lot of goals against a lot of famous teams. He used to play for Liverpool. He used to be Liverpool. He used to be one of Liverpool's key players. But I don't think that he can pull it off by himself on Southampton. So, yeah, I think they're going to finish 14th. And their players, they are good enough, but just not good enough to cope with the sides that they have against them. So that's my Southampton prediction. Leicester City in the Premier League. I think that they are going to be finishing sixth in the Premier League. Yeah, I know they're such a good side, but just sixth. I don't think they're going to be making the Champions League. Just not this season, I don't think. Well, not at least, I don't think. So my prediction is six for Leicester City. Their team is capable. Jamie Vardy, Imez, Perez, Tielemann, Schmeichel. Um, so, yeah, I know that they can do it. I know that they're capable of doing it. They can do it. So, yeah, I know that they can do it one day, but six is their place in this season for me. Arsenal in the Premier League for me. Just. Eighth, I am so convinced that they are just gonna finish eighth in the Premier League. Nicola Pepe, Aubameyang, Lacazette. I don't think they do enough what they are expected. Like they, people expect much more from them, but they just don't deliver. I don't get why. So yeah, Arsenal finish eighth for me. So Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea in the Premier League. So, I think Chelsea, um, so with Chelsea, I accidentally mucked up the order. I meant, um, Leicester City to be ninth, not six. So, Leicester City's ninth, and Chelsea's actually six in the Premier League. So, I think Chelsea's going to be six. I don't think they're going to quite make it to the Champions League. So, yeah, sorry about that mistake, guys. Leicester City's meant to be ninth in the Premier League. So I think Manchester United are going to make it to the Champions League this season. I think they are going to finish fourth in the Premier League. Their team is so capable. They have so many youngsters. New signing, Alex Tellez, um, Van der Beek, Bruno Fernandes. No, he's not new, but I'm just going to count him as new. They have Marcus Rashford, Martial. Cavani, they have so many good players for their team to use. So I think, yeah, they're going to finish fourth. Not not quite like up top three, but yeah, fourth. So third in the Premier League has to be Liverpool, in my opinion. Because I just think, oh, you know who the other teams are, but Liverpool, they're such a capable side. Of course, I am a Liverpool supporter. We are, we are the Never You Walk Alone fans. We are all, we will always follow Liverpool no matter what. No matter their dramatic losses, great wins, we'll always follow them and support them no matter what. So, yeah, that is um, Liverpool being third in the Premier League. Thanks.
for this prediction, guys. Second in the Premier League for me is Manchester City. They are a phenomenal team. Phenomenal Sterling, Rodri, Fernandinho, Ruben Diaz, Zinchenko, Cancelo, Carl Walker, KDB, Aguero, Mares, Bernardo Silva. So yeah, their team is absolutely phenomenal. Sorry about that. Phenomenal. And I think they are absolutely going to crush the Premier League. Crush all teams except for the one team that I'm about to bring up. And they are the team that I'm about to bring up. So thank you guys. Now the winners of the Premier League, I think, are going to be Tottenham Hotspur. You can just see how phenomenal they are. They absolutely have crushed every single team in the Premier League this season, absolutely. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna win like all season. I think they're gonna have to have some losses at the stage. But yeah, I think they've absolutely been phenomenal. Have you seen their games? Their highlights? It's been absolutely amazing and phenomenal to watch. I've been, oh my god, I've been actually lucky that YouTube, up the sport on YouTube, have actually leaked their footage of their games because their games are so. Excellent. So yeah, Tottenham Hotspur are going to win the Prem for me. And Jose Mourinho is going to be a very proud coach, I think. Thanks for this video, guys, of my predictions. Peace out.